This is Mike with Susquehanna Alchemy, and we're about to do probably my favorite presentation as it relates to the Susquehanna Alchemy story, and it is the 100-year timeline from first computer to the singularity, a worldwide initiation. And the picture which is on the cover is a painting of John Dee performing an experiment before Elizabeth I. And we're going to come back to this at the end. But the reason why we are starting this is because the entire information age has all the signs particularly on the subtextual level of being the byproduct of Enochian magic. Maybe not so much in terms of um, a specific operation to bring it about, though maybe that, that was the case. But it is my sense and opinion that what we're going to see here is on a a grander level. Um, I think of it as an ordering system which has been put out in, in the non-physical or invisible world which reality or life just forms about. So let's jump right in. This presentation is going to be broken up into five different pieces uh, in 25-year increments. So we have 1945, 1970, 1995, 2020, and 2045. Whereas we typically think of computer technology growing logarithmically as expressed through Moore's Law, what we're going to see here is more of a step approach where every 25 years there is a major change in the relationship between humanity and technology. Now Enochian magic, um, particularly from the perspective of the entities which transmitted it to Dr. John Dee, is inherently apocalyptic and I recommend the video the Enochian Apocalypse or reading the the essay by Donald Tyson of the same name the Enochian Apocalypse to get more into that and the apocalypse or an apocalypse has three aspects it has the the destruction of one age the birth of a new age and the revelation or the revealing that it's happening and how it's occurred. And so computer technology is primarily a, an aspect of creating this new age which we are coming into. I would suggest that some of the shadow elements or darker elements associated with computer technology plays upon more of a destructive element or bringing down what was before, um, even uh, um, uh, bringing unwitting people along on a certain path. But nonetheless, the ultimate purpose is, is to create something new. And so I want to give a couple definitions first because they're, they're somewhat interchangeable. First is the golden age or a golden age and and this means a general period of time corresponding with prosperity well-being and harmony between humanity and then um, with the environment so the golden age is 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 generally a good thing however a golden age can be relative one man's golden age is maybe another man's prison so the second definition is the age of Aquarius. And so now this gets into the language of the procession of the equinoxes. And we are moving into the age of Aquarius, 
um, and this is defined by um, by the constellation Aquarius at the um, rising in the western or northern hemisphere on the, the equinox. But as a subjective aspect, the age of Aquarius is associated with technology, the collective, um, also the mixing of gender roles. And then the third definition is the singularity. And, and this is a non-mystical term. It's a technological term. And it's generally referring to a time period where the human experience and technology merges. But I'm going to suggest, and we're going to get into this in the last part of the uh, the last section of this presentation, the singularity is more of a threshold and what it represents is when we fully cross over into this age of Aquarius and hopefully, you know, a golden age. Now here's a, a quote from a, a book written by Peter Dawkins, the president of the Francis Bacon Research Trust, and he's very knowledgeable on Francis Bacon and Rosicrucianism and so forth. And here it says, the aims of Brother Christian Rosencruz and the Rosicrucian fraternity is laid out in the Rosicrucian manifestos and subsequent publications, and the great ideas and project of Francis Bacon are identical, to cause a complete worldwide revolution or reformation in human consciousness and society leading to a golden age. And so we want to begin this by stating that this Rosicrucian movement, which connects with John Dee and Francis Bacon, um, was very apocalyptic in nature, um, both in terms of the coming of the old age, but more focused upon creating the new age. So let's jump into the timeline. 1945 represents the first computer, and this was a relationship between organization and machine. And then approximately 25 years later, we see the first personal computer. And now we have a relationship between the individual and machine. And 25 years after that marks the age of the internet. It's a little bit different than the invention of the internet, but it's the age of the internet. Um, and this is indicative of this person-to-person -person relationship over machines. Utilizing the, the precedent which has been set for every 25 years, 2020 would be 25 years later, and that's just around the corner. This is 2018 as I'm recording this. And we're going to talk a little bit about that and what appears to be the next big thing. And then everything concludes with the singularity, and the singularity has been given as 2045, and we'll cover that in a bit. But we can see there's this perfect 100-year transition or 100-year period from the beginning point, the first computer, and the end point, the singularity, which is where the computer and all this technology is taking us to. Within the Susquehanna alchemy teachings, there's another timeline which is talked about frequently, and that's the 400-year magical operation built upon the Susquehanna River, and that's from 1607 to 2007. And so now we have this other timeline, which is 1945 to 2045. And it's important to point out a couple things. So the first thing is um, that these two timelines, when you overlap them, they relate in the phi or golden ratio. Um, and mathematically expressed, it can be shown as 0.618, or about 62%. And so we can see here, 1945 to 2045, the 62%, or the, the 62nd year, is 2007, which is the end point of the river altar, or the, the completion of the river altar. 
and this also connects to the river altar in a phi ratio as well. And the reason why this is important is our physical or material world has an underlying building block of the phi ratio. We see it uh, in, in countless ways in the material world. And by these two timelines being linked from this ratio, whether done purposefully or not, my, my thought is not purposefully, regardless, it connects them via a building block. Um, which is used to create reality. The second thing I want to point out is if you combine the two time frames from 1607 to 2045, we get to 438 years, which is very close to 440 years and pretty close to 444 years. And for people who really get into numbers, um, there's, some, there's some significance there. And uh, I also want to point out that the marker at the, at the source location of the Susquehanna River lists it at 444 miles. So again, we're seeing another synchronicity.